We're gonna plant some of the ranunculus corms in this little flower bed in the middle. I do have some uh, spring bulbs coming through, but I think in between there will be some uh, soil that would be appropriate for the ranunculus. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of fertilizer in here. I fertilized just a few weeks ago, so it doesn't need a lot. And then we're just gonna kind of work that in. So my theory is that uh, the ranunculus will come up when it's time to probably pull out these little violas. So when the ranunculus are done soaking, we'll, we'll put them in. Hi, and welcome to my channel, Mary Born ND. Uh, today, we're, it's all about ranunculus. I may be a little late to the game. I know I've seen some videos where people have already starting and actually seeing the ranunculus bloom. But last year I ordered them in February and I planted them and it was like in March, I'm like, our last frost date here in Michigan is May 5th. And I do not feel I should plant them. But this year, I this this is now April 9th, and I feel like I can plant some, start them outside because the weather forecast doesn't look like there's going to be anything in the 20s in the foreseeable future. But, you know, <laughs> the way this weather has been going, who knows what's going to happen. So I have prepared some places, two potting areas outside that I want to put some of these ranunculas in. I have 100, so if I lose, I want to put 15 in one place and 15 in another. And if I lose those, I still will have 70, you know? I thought I'm... Not sure 70 is going to fit in what I've prepared. So if you've never seen a ranuncula, they are kind of octopusy looking things, kind of like a dahlia, if you a very miniature dahlia, if you've ever planted dahlias. Uh, this is where the growth will come from. And these are what you stick in the dirt and roots will form off of these. Um, these aren't the biggest, uh, but they're a decent size. And I think they will give uh, me some very attractive blooms. I love the way they look. Ranunculus remind me of roses without the thorns. Such a good thing. So what I've done to get them started inside is I took an extra large pie plate. Now, if you've ever gotten the pumpkin pie from Costco or you have relatives that get pie from Costco, this is the Costco size pie plant pan. And what I did was I just took a, a sharp edge knife and I drilled holes you can see the holes, just so there would be some drainage. This is the pie bottom. You don't drill holes in this. This captures any drainage. It fits perfectly together because they came together. Then this is the dome. This is the cover that comes with the pie. So. I mean, aside from the fact they're, what, six bucks, ha, you have a perfect growing place 
cover, all that. Don't have to buy anything extra. It works really good. If you don't want to keep it, you can throw it away or recycle it at the end if you can recycle aluminum. So I have some, let me take you down here. There we go. So I have some kind of moist soil that I want to put as a bottom layer. And this has um, a little bit of, not vermiculite, but the the other one. <laughs> and what we're gonna do, it, you need just to layer them um, it, fairly close, just plunk them in, not hard, but just make sure that they're secure. And we're just going to start putting them together. Now, when um, about 10 to 12 days, this should start developing some kind of a growth that you can see that they're, they're growing. And then you will want to harden them off and you can bring them outside and put them in hanging pots or whatever. This is a mixture. Uh, it's going to be just a lovely surprise <laughs> what color comes from, from these little ranunculus. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. And I have no idea how many I'm going to be able to fit into this pie plate. But we'll, we'll see. We're just going to cover them up and uh, you just need to put a, a short, short, small layer of moistened soil over them. And then you're just going to leave them be for 10 to 12 days. And I'm just going to put the cover on it like this. And that's it. As far as I, what I've read, that's um, as far as we have to go right now. If you keep tuned um, to my channel and subscribe, 
We'll follow this through and hopefully in a month or six weeks, we'll have some blooms. So thank you for joining me in this uh, Ranunculus adventure. Okay. Now we're going to work on this first planter. I have divided the Ranunculus in pretty much half. And we'll see how many we can get into this planter. And then we'll do the second planter. This one I had originally um, planted something in it, but I think the critters got to it because I can see a few things poking through, but not much. I put these forks in and they stopped. I didn't see chipmunks after I put the forks in, so. Renungillas are really ugly looking as far as I'm concerned, but they really do have a beautiful bloom. So if you keep following me, we'll, we'll see how these turn out and maybe we'll have some beautiful blooms from them. There's a, this is a variety of flowers, so I don't know what colors I'm going to be having, so it'll be a mystery. That's the fun sometimes of gardening. You just kind of poke them through you. They're, they're very forgiving. You don't really have to be particularly careful, except that you don't want to crush crush them. You have to be a little gentle with them, but not, um, not particular. So you basically just need to make contact with the dirt and then cover just a little bit with, with soil. There we go, we'll see how those turn out. Uh, and now we'll go to the next planter. So we're at the second planter and we're just gonna make a, like a row and put these in. So this is different than the one you just saw. I have a lot more of these left and I'm just going to try and work them in as best I can and get all of these planted and who knows we will see what kind of blooms we get if we get any hopefully keep your fingers crossed Well, we're running to the end, so I think we're going to make it. <laughs> I want to do it upside down. The rest of these are just like broken off bits. Well, there we are. We'll see what comes of this in about four or five weeks. <laughs> 